WordPress Dashboard Walkthrough So far, we have featured WordPress on a few videos, but we hope that this limited showing has allowed you to see how versatile an online tool it can be, what with all its features and professional-looking dashboard. Of course, that has only been a mere glimpse into what you will be able to find and do there, like accessing your login URL, how to install themes and plugins, and to also access certain features using the left-hand menu. But just watching us navigating the WordPress dashboard on a newly created site won't cut it for you, because there is a lot of stuff in there that deserves a deeper dive and a more elaborated explanation. So in view of this, we've decided to create this walkthrough video for you, which we consider to be important for you to pay attention to, because it will teach you how to navigate your WordPress dashboard and where to find everything. Start by logging into your WordPress dashboard and take a look at the left side menu. Notice how it is populated with numerous items each one representing an option to manage your WordPress site. Basically, everything you'll need is located right there. Now take a look at the top bar menu. Here you will find a more limited menu, which will allow you to find the most commonly used options, especially by bloggers. Options such as visit your site, some plugin shortcuts, a comments access icon, a quick edit menu to add new stuff on your site, and a marketplace tab. Now, on the left side menu, you will be able to find everything from all your website pages to install plugins. If you already followed through the steps on our most recent videos, you will notice that there are some items featured in our dashboard that might not be present on your site. That is because the left side menu will feature each add-on and plugin that you get on your site, such as Mega Menu and Moto Options, which do not come by default on WordPress. In this video, we are going to focus on those that do come by default as WordPress basic features. The Dashboard tab is the one that will naturally take you back to your dashboard home. Let's not check the Jetpack tab. Jetpack is a plugin that comes pre-installed in every WordPress dashboard. This plugin is intended to add more functionality to any WordPress site, including traffic and engagement tools, tracking tools, and security features. You need to create a WordPress.com account in order to use this plugin. The Post tab is where you'll be able to check all your posts, to add new posts, to define categories for your posts, and to define tags as well. Now the Media tab is where you will find all the media files that you have used to create your site. In this case, we are able to see media files in the Modotheme template that we are currently using for our site. You can use the Add New button to save new media files that you plan to use in the future. The Pages tab is where you'll be able to access each and every page on your WordPress site. Note that every page that is pre-built on your Modotheme template of choice can be found here, and you can easily edit, trash, or view them from here. You'll have to simply click on Edit by the name of your page in order to modify them, or click on Trash in case you need to delete some of these pages. You can use the Add New button to create new pages and easily customize them using the Modotheme editor. The Comments tab will allow you to manage comments made by others on your site. From here, you will be able to unapprove comments, to reply to comments, to edit comments, to flag comments as spam, and to trash comments. Now let's move on to the Appearance tab, where you will find every customization option available for your site. From this tab, you will be able to access, preview, and customize themes, and you'll be able to use the Customize option to customize your site the basic non modal theme way. From here, You'll also be able to access your site's elements such as widgets, menus, header, and background. You'll also be able to use the editor option to access your site's code, which is not recommended unless you know what you're doing. In the plugin section, you'll be able to check your installed plugins and to activate, deactivate, or to simply delete them. You can use the Add New button to find new plugins in the WordPress database or to use the Upload Plugin button to install one from your computer. In the Users tab, you will be able to check your site's users. You will commonly find here the Admin Profile. And you can use the Add New button to add additional users to manage and edit your site. In the Tools tab, you will be able to find tools that can be used by the WordPress platform to simplify some management tasks, such as posting and finding content. Finally, in the Settings tab, you will be able to edit your WordPress site settings, including your site title, tagline, URL, your email address, as well as time and regional formats. Other settings that you can access from this tab are writing settings, 
reading settings, discussion settings, media settings, and permalinks. This is everything that you need to know about your new WordPress dashboard. Tune into our following video and learn all about the options that MotoTheme has added to your dashboard using the Moto Options tab. Thank <laughs> you.